despite often looking like random letters and numbers, model numbers contain a lot of information about a particular product. To help the model number or nomenclature make better sense, this video will explain the nomenclature for the fractional series of Danfoss compressors. Nomenclature is used to describe the features that each compressor offers. This is signified by a letter or number and by its location in the nomenclature. Another method used to define a specific compressor is the Danfoss part number. To begin, here is an example of the nomenclature used for the fractional series compressors. The first digit, in this case S, signifies the product family. The second digit indicates the type and location of the compressor motor protector. The third and fourth digits do not appear in all product numbers for fractional compressors. Since our previous model number example does not use these two digits, we'll switch to a label that does. The third digit of the model number signifies the optimization level of the compressor. The fourth digit signifies the type of suction used, if anything other than direct. We'll now return to our first model number. The next digit, which may be the third, fourth, or fifth, in the model number signifies the compressor displacement in cubic centimeters. This may be one or two digits and may include a decimal point. The next digit in the model number signifies the application range and refrigerant for which the compressor is rated. The next digit in the nomenclature signifies the starting characteristics of the compressor. The seventh digit indicates the equipment version or generation. Depending on the model number of the compressors, the nomenclature will vary between four and seven digits in length. If provided with a complete and current nomenclature or model number, Danfoss technical support will be able to convert that model number into its various part numbers, which are used to order replacement parts. If you have any further questions regarding compressor nomenclature not addressed in this video, please contact Danfoss Technical Support.